My favorite memories of Mizzou football that I'm going to look back and cherish are uh, just the times in the locker room after victories or after practice, um, just hanging out with the guys and laughing. All the times hanging out with the guys and lifting weights and outside of football and in the locker room, just a bunch of memories together. Pretty much the whole season, like the start from two a days to like meetings. I mean, it's just, it's just been a blast this whole year, especially going to the SEC championship. And my second one actually is during gun club my freshman year is when I jumped off the balcony. So that's probably the second best. <laughs> Why I jump off the balcony? Because I'm Michael Sam, that's what I do. Most of us guys, you know, coming from South Hall together, um, you know, we, we were pretty, you know, rowdy, but we grew up pretty fast and um, we're really close. The coaches have taught me to uh, become more responsible, uh, you know, not make excuses. The no excuses, I mean, that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. I have to attack everything and have no excuse after it. And Team bottom line, you know, knowing what you're doing, be enthusiastic about it, don't have any excuses, just if, as long as you follow that, you're going to be successful. Waking up at 6 a.m. and going hard all the time, every play, running to the ball, being tired, being uncomfortable, knowing that it hurts, but you sometimes you just got to be a man and do it. Always pushing you to do better, or even when you think you're doing your best, they say, you can do this better, you can do that better. I think that's probably the biggest thing that the coaches have really installed in me is just knowing that I can defeat any obstacles, no matter what it is, whether it's in life or in football. They've always been here for support and be, being able to go to them and talk to them about things. Um, it's made me feel a lot more comfortable with it and just them being good examples for me. Um, when I first got here until now, I've learned a lot from them. 18 to, to, to 21 now, um, you know, you just see a different, whole different look at things when you have, you know, positive male influences in our lives. This senior class is just a bunch of uh, two and three star kids, you know, trying to, trying to make it make a five-star dream. At the beginning of the season, people were saying we're going to win five wins. And, you know, we were obviously a lot better than that. And we knew it, and we didn't care what anybody else thought. And I was like, Coach, we don't, we don't want to, like, we want to be the team you talk about for the next 20 years. Cowboys ready! At the beginning of the year, we set really high goals for this team. It starts with the leadership on the team, and I think the seniors, what makes us special is that we really help bring everyone together um, to accomplish those goals, and not just to, to lead by mouth, but also lead by example. We can't be stopped! We can't be stopped! We know what it's like to win, and uh, you know we know how it feels to lose at the lowest you can. So we understand uh, what needs to happen and how it needs to happen. And you know we're a family, so we stick together. The bonds we've we've built um, through adversity. It's because we're so tight and we're so close that makes us successful and good leaders. But I think the one thing that makes us really special is everybody's mindset. Like we all have our mindset on greatness. Everyone in life, your goal is to be a part of something special, to be a part of history, just to make your mark on life. And at 21 years old, 22 years old, as young men, we're all making history right now. We're going to all be a part of something special. And that's something that we can say for the rest of our life, that we made history. We're a part of something special that people can't take away. You don't realize you're going to meet some of the most wonderful people that you'll ever meet in your life. You're going to have bonds that you never thought you'd get. I just love these guys. Uh, they're awesome, they're my, my brothers, and I'm grateful to have them. I can't even put it into words, and uh, I'm gonna miss those guys. I knew it was kinda in God's will for me to come here. It was a blast, <laughs> I'm gonna miss it.